All right, so as you can see, I have a couple of balloons here. One of them is tied up to the ceiling, it's just hanging by a string. The other one is in my hand. I haven't done anything to either of these two balloons, except I've drawn a couple little circles on them. We'll get to that in a second. Now, if I bring this balloon close to this balloon, you'll see nothing happens. It just continues to just sit there and sway a little bit because it's been, you know, blowing in the air that's moving around. But obviously there's no reaction between this balloon and that balloon. Now, what happens if I rub this balloon against my head? Well, I'm sure we've all done this before, right? You take a balloon, you rub it against your head, you rub it, you rub it, you rub it, and then when you bring it up to a wall, you can make it stick. Well, what happens when I bring it close to this balloon? Well, if I bring it close, you should see it causes a bit of a reaction here. And see, if you look really carefully, you can see it's starting to swing closer and closer. So something happened when I rubbed my head with this balloon. Something moved from my head to the balloon and stayed right there. Because watch if I try using the other side of the balloon. If I try to bring the other side of the balloon close, see nothing happens. It just sways back and forth, but it doesn't seem to be interacting the same way it did when I did this. When I bring that side that I brought, that I rubbed my head with close to it, you can see there's some attraction there. But when I bring the other side, nothing seems to happen. It just sits there and swirls around. All right, so whatever happened to this part of the balloon didn't happen to this part of the balloon. So whatever came from my hair, from my head, and stuck to here, didn't stick to here. Now, what happens if I rub this balloon? So if I take the other balloon, and I'm going to use that circle again, I'm going to rub right there. And then I'm going to rub this one again, just to make sure that you've got a lot going on there. And now if I bring this circle close to this circle, what happens? If you look really carefully, you should see, as I try to bring this circle close to the circle on the blue balloon, the circle on the blue balloon tries to spin out of the way. It keeps moving in the other direction. If I really work at this, I could probably make it swing back and forth. All right. So the question is, so why, when I rubbed just this balloon, did it attract the balloon that was hanging there? But when I rubbed both of them, the spot where I rubbed tries to get away, tries to repel. Well. Whatever moved onto this balloon is the same thing that moved onto that balloon. And whatever that is tries to get away from itself. It's trying to repel itself. All right, so what is it? What moved from my hair onto these balloons? Well, it moved are what are called electrons. Right? They are tiny particles of matter that have a charge. Now, in this case, the particles that we're talking about, electrons, have a negative charge. And we'll learn about other particles and what charges they have later on. But the one that we care about for right now are the electrons. So here's what we've learned from this little activity. Number one, that electrons, these tiny charged little particles, can move from one thing to another. So they can move from, for example, my head to the balloon. Um, what else have we learned? We've also learned that when those tiny particles move to a particular spot on a balloon, they stay there. They didn't move to the other side. Um, we also know that when we try to bring those electrons close to each other, they'll repel each other. But remember, when I brought this close to the balloon before I rubbed it, it actually tried to attract it. So when the balloon hadn't been rubbed, when it was still neutral, this balloon attracted to it. So again, 
those four things that we've learned out of this, number one, we have these tiny particles called electrons that will move from one substance to another when we rub them against each other. Number two, when they actually move to something like rubber, they'll stay there. Number three, if you rub two objects and have electrons transfer to each of them, and you try to bring them close together, they will repel from each other. So electrons repel. And then finally, if electrons come close to a neutral object, so for example, a balloon that hasn't been rubbed, it will attract.